Welcome to this edition of the Million Dollar Mastermind Podcast. This is where we pick the brains of high achievers from all walks of life and get their hard-earned, real-world insights on winning. I'm your host, Larry Wydell. What did your boys come back uh, talking about from that five-day trip? Well, certainly a lot of swear words. Uh, We were talking about South Park and Rick and Morty and letting them watch, um, Uh, letting them watch things that my wife would never do. I actually posted, um, I wish I had it in front of me. I posted five things or five or six things we learned from the baseball trip. I can try and find it. Um, I posted on social media after it happened. Um, You want me to try and look for it? I can sure use on uh, social media. Are you using uh, what Instagram, Instagram, LinkedIn? No. Uh, Facebook. How do people find you on Instagram? Oh, Justin Breen on yeah, Instagram. Justin Breen. Yeah. Uh, so what I do every day on LinkedIn, Monday through Friday, um, I do a grateful journal. So like uh, things, and I'll include this, uh, this and that. But I, so I was posting every day, like photos from each day. Um, if I, I'll, I'll try and find, I'm sorry, I can't find it right immediately, but like, you know, what they learned was, and what we talked about, cause we were in, we drove, we drove that all this freedom, uh, that I have and that our family has, uh, from this entrepreneur life. And then I can take them basically wherever I want, whenever I want, uh, around the country. And all the freedom that it creates. That was that was the main lesson. Um, it was interesting because we went to major league parks, triple A, double A, and single A, uh, and even college summer league. And it was very interesting to see how baseball was still the center of of towns, regardless if they were big or small. That baseball was still king in a lot of a lot of these towns. It was a, a social fabric social fabric of society. It was super interesting to see that. And then they got to see um, how people in different cities lived because they're kind of, it's kind of like a bubble here in the North shore of Chicago. It's pretty, you know, upper middle class affluent area. So it was interesting for them to see how, you know, farmers live or uh, very rural or very poor. We saw a lot of homeless people uh, in Minneapolis, St. Paul. And so it's just very good life lessons. You got to do a lot of uh, rock climbing and, and nature trail hiking as well. So those are the kind of things, memories that are created that you just can't, you can't replicate that with having an Inc. 5000 company. <laughs> you just can't, yeah. you can't do that. So, you know. Yeah. And uh, that's what I was getting at when I said, have you ever thought about traveling, taking the family around? And so that's what, that's what I was getting at. And yeah. so. There's there's certain exposures. It's kind of like to get to know people, even your family, you got to do things. And you get right. to know uh, when you do something different, you can learn something different. You know, you put it, get in a different situation. 100%. You know, different exposures and things like that. You can't, it can't be all status quo. All oh, no, 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 no. I'm the, op- <laughs> I'm the opposite of status quo. Yeah. The, again, people like us are usually aliens within our own family community and vertical. So it's the opposite of the very opposite of status quo. If you do take Colby, I put it in the, in the chat. If you want to put it in the show notes, I would be interested okay. to see. I'm guessing you're an eight, nine quick start, uh, eight, nine, eight, maybe. No, nah, I don't think you're a 10, but I would say an eight or nine. Uh, I'll, you got me intrigued now. So <laughs> Yeah. Don't let anyone ever tell you can't sell. Uh. <laughs> oh, so that's hilarious. Can I, can I dovetail that? Yeah. So, um, people, I can't tell you how many people tell me that I'm a good salesperson and I think I'm terrible at selling things yeah. because, um, because like when you're a journalist, you don't sell anything. You're the buyer of the, you're the buyer of the story. Like it's your story. And then PR firms are coming to you, begging you to, um, to, um, you know, do their story. And I would always, I'd just say no, cause you're annoying me. So I'll just create it. Yeah. And then, and then 
One again, one of the chapters in the book is be the buyer. So I haven't done any outbound sales in years. Just the buyer, the people that that we want to hang out with, they pay our firms and stuff, but but it's not selling anything. They're just very attracted to it and then they invest in it. So and I just I'm not a comfortable sales. I'm just not. I'd just rather hang out with the people that I want to hang out with. Yeah. Well, regardless. Uh, oh, thanks. <laughs> thank you. My wife told me how to say thank you. I, I didn't know how to do that until she's like, you need to say thank you to people. I'm like, okay. Did that? <laughs> well, thank her for that, by the way. Uh, I do it's... every day. The first thing I do every day is a grateful journal to her. What I'm thankful Tell for me. for her. Yeah. How that, did that get started? How did that get started? The grateful. I can. Journal. Okay, great, great. And your brain, I love, I love your brain because you're like, how did that happen? How did that happen? Input, 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 <laughs> context, context. I'm not like that, but I, I, I can, I can uh, chameleon to your brain here. But the, um, so there's a, another test called Print P R I N T. It's your unconscious motivators, and uh, most great entrepreneurs, visionaries are eight threes or three eights like me. So eight is to be strong and self reliant. Uh, three is to succeed and achieve. I. I would be shocked if you were not any, I'd be shocked if you were not an eight, three or three, eight, but you never know. It's unconscious. Um, so there's no overthinking, no overfeeling. There's just execute, execute, execute. Okay. So my wife is a two, six, two is to be needed and appreciated. Six is to feel safe and secure. So the most important thing for my wife is for someone to tell her that she's needed and appreciated. So the first thing I do every day is a grateful journal, write down what I'm thankful for for her uh, the previous 24 hours. Um, I very rarely actually show her that, but it gets me into the state of mind to remember to say thank you to her no matter what. So because I just I'm it, like someone says thank you to me. I don't care. I, yeah, there's those love languages like uh, right. At the, I'm 0.0 in gifts. I don't want to get, if there was a negative for gifts, it'd be, don't give me anything. But for her, it's very important. So so it's important to her. I love her. I'm going to say thank you to her. Well, you know, where I get into problems on this thing, like in the scoring, just to put this to bed, it's like <laughs> someone's a two, is a six, is a three, is a five. I just go, I just go into meltdown, you know, because I've got to, you Interesting. know, it's just like, I just, I just got to be, you know what I'm saying? It's like, He's got this, that, because what I'll do is when I see these scoring things, yep. I start, I start reanalyzing the damn things. It's like, I don't agree with that. And so That's it's hard. hilarious. Yeah. It's like, yeah. So here's what you are. So in print, you're a doer and thinker. And so one of the print scores is a five. That's to be knowledgeable and smart. And the other one is one, which is for everything to be perfect and right. So I can hear yeah. you. Yeah, that's what I can. I mean, so you're probably like an eight one, which fascinates me. I don't overthink anything. Execute, <laughs> execute, execute, execute. And then my wife's like, stop identifying people by numbers as no, I yeah. don't want to see people as numbers. That's how I see. Well, see I spent, the thing is just, I've spent 40 years <laughs> training people. You know what I'm saying? And most right. of the time you're training people that are not, you know, when they're learning something, you're not not a genius. You know, you're a, you're a dummy with, with a new subject. And it's kind of like, oh, yeah. Like, and the simpler, again, this goes back to the thing about uh, Ed Roberts. The simpler you can explain it, the mm -hmm. quick they can get it. And so that's why I'm always pushing myself to look for si quicker, simpler, you know, better yep. uh, explanations to get to the point. Because otherwise you make a point. If they don't understand it, it doesn't stick. Right. And I only talk to people that understand what I'm talking about. Otherwise, I don't talk to them. That's my point. Right. And that's the whole thing of connecting. You know, you, you made right. a connection and it stayed. But one last thing I'm curious about yeah. is how you got going <laughs> on these uh, mastermind, you know, these coaching, <laughs> high level coaching type <laughs> groups. Did you just do it so you could? get into groups no. kind of a fast track into groups that no. you would enjoy talking to or no. more. And I don't think you went in for ideas or anything. No, this is man, your brain. I love it. The, um, I love your brain. So this is a hilarious story. So, um, nothing to me is a cost. I've never, I've never thought of anything as a cost. It's always an investment. So if you look right. at, I guess, networking thing, whatever that is, um, right. 
So the first one I joined was $250. Then there was a 500. Then there was a thousand. Then there was a 2000. Then there was a 10,000. And then there's two that are 25,000. Okay. So anyway, early on, I was talking to people that had no idea what I was talking about. Um, Cause they're not, they're, you know, small business owners, consultants, employees. And one of these people I'll remember it was in a $500 room. Um, and they're like, I had a lunch with them at a Whole Foods. And they're like, I don't understand anything you're talking about, but the owner of my company does. He would like to talk to you. I'm like, okay. So I talked to him. His name's Gary Clavin. He's a coach oh. and strategic coach. Uh, do you know Gary? Do you know him? No. Oh, he's, he's a true, I mean, he's, he's rain man genius in a good way. And he's like, well, you don't, you shouldn't be in these rooms. You need to be in 10,000 in your room. I'm like, okay. So I just wrote the check. So and then, then I found at the 10,000 level, maybe 10% of the people could have conversations like this, and, but most were still cost small business. And then at the 25,000 level, um, not only can most people understand what I'm talking about, but I can learn at a very high level from them. And they've been in this world a lot longer than me. And then they can provide all the great ideas. And then more importantly, or if not as important, more important, they provide all the bad ideas of like, hey, I'm on my third marriage. I torch my family. Uh, I don't see my family. That's a bad idea. I'm not going to do that. So um, that's how my brain works. Yeah. And the thing is, though, when you're in these groups, the thing that I've never, I've got, you know, I've checked them out, but it's like, go to a conference, get on this. And my schedule is but it's like, the last thing I want to do is get in a group with, you know, I can't sit in a room and listen to somebody else talk anyway. And so go to a convention for three days with the Genius mm -hmm. Network and mm -hmm. look, you know, uh, uh, I don't know. My, my, I get short-circuited even thinking right. about, you know, yeah, so. I get it. So how do you get the, how do you interact into uh, this group? Yeah, I talk, I do most of it virtually. And then Strategic Coach is the one I spend most of the time in. It is 10, it's a 10 minute drive from my house. So most of those sessions are like eight hours. I will stay until lunch and get out of there because I'm not sitting in a room for eight hours. I can't, I can't right. do it. So, yeah. but then I'll go to, because it's so close, I just go all the time. Um, but then I'll leave when I want to. That is how I do it. Okay. Yeah. Well, it's just uh, uh, something, it's anything you can do to keep, keep yourself motivated but why do you keep doing it let's just say that why do whoa, you whoa, what, 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 no 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 <laughs> no <laughs> my dad was 61 when i was born shut down no <laughs> there's people are like oh are you gonna r-e-t-i-r-e where i'm like what are you talking about i would no, never... no 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 i'm not talking about that i'm talking about why do you keep going to these groups because there's people who understand what i'm talking about uh, okay I, why would you go into a, why would you live in a world where no one understands what you're talking about? That's a very lonely world. So I need to constantly, and it's the purpose of my life. So like, and that's where most of the great ideas, because I'm so low in ideation come from. And, you know, I mean, connecting superhero for every visionary who shares their stories with the world. Um, I can be a, of great service to people like that. And you and can, can stay, what you're saying, it, it's, it allows you to stay relevant stay in the mix have a fresh flow of ideas i don't think i'm getting it why you continue to go there because the new people you meet like if you let's go, go in the morning let's just say you're going to go to the next one of those things mm -hmm. and you're going to stay till noon what's mm -hmm. going to happen from the time you get there till noon are you going to sit and listen to someone else talk is there a, is oh there there's breakouts group? and there's end, yeah there's breakout yeah. groups and endless yeah i'm endlessly fascinated by brains like that and being in a room with people like that yeah well maybe yeah, we you're, a, you're a one you're a one print i mean you're i can hear it you're everything needs to be perfect and right there, i'm not i'm not like that i just yeah. know that if i go somewhere something great will happen in the in that type of room yeah well i am looking forward to uh see what comes next you say is there going to be a next book well there will be um what happens is i talk to enough people like you and then maybe once a month i'll get a great one someone like you will say a great idea and i'll write it down when i get enough of those i'll do a third book but this one just i mean this one just came out so um you know you don't impress me as somebody who, who uses a ghostwriter 
No, I wrote this book, the latest one, in 16 days. Yeah. Wow. Congratulations. Yeah, well, the, thank you. Yeah, there's no over thing, X, but it took two years to get the ideas because most ideas aren't great. Yeah, absolutely. Well, hey, appreciate you hanging around, being patient. We had a little technical glitch. And, that was awesome. Uh, anything that you want to, uh, uh, any last thing that you'd want to pass on to people as a uh, 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 kind of summarizing this or that? Oh. You know, we we didn't cover. Well, one, um, I do recommend taking Colby. Uh, that that's the ultimate shortcut. Two, I just keep making bigger investments to be in smaller rooms, but the people in those rooms are making bigger impacts. So, bigger investments, smaller room, bigger impact. That allows me to spend biggest investment in smallest room, which is my family, where I can make the most impact. So, that's the same formula. Fantastic! Thanks so much. It's been a pleasure, Justin. Looking forward to talking down the road and uh looking forward to seeing what other adventures uh you find yourself going into and what <laughs> what what stories from connecting these connections that you're helping to make around the world has got to yield uh i don't know if that would be a book or something but i'm sure that would be uh yeah a, that's both books i yeah that, that's what's in the books <laughs> that's that's what's in the books okay yeah, right so yeah. uh <laughs> what what a life what a life and an impact you're having and i want to uh, thank you uh for all the rest of us for charging forward and following your instincts mm. and making uh such a strong stand for positive things and because uh we, we need that in the world, Justin, and you're providing it. Thank you so much, man. Winners conquer doubt. Yes, sir. Thank you, man. Take you're care. Welcome. Thanks for listening to the Million Dollar Mastermind. If you felt there were any valuable takeaways from this episode, please take a minute and leave us a five-star review. Your feedback is important and really helps us get the word out to a wider audience. Remember, we have a valuable webinar that is absolutely free. Register for it right now at whiteallenwinning.com. Thanks for listening.